Okay guys, really quick, this is going to be an unboxing video of GM's MDI-2. Uh, this is a genuine copy. Um, later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a reflash on a used PCM. Now I purchased this from Bosch Automotive Service Solutions. And there's a truck riding by. Uh, this is the AM, that's for the aftermarket version, made in Germany. So these are the cables. This is everything they're going to give you with it. Um, this cable here is the USB A to B type. This is what I used already to do a reflash uh, for a wired connection. Uh, this is going to be our DLC2 connector. This connects to the vehicle. This is an Ethernet cable they give you. Um, I know you can connect. They said you can connect to the MDI2 manager with this. Other than that, I don't know exactly all of its purposes. Uh, these are the wireless. Um, these are the wireless connections. They said there were two methods to connect the MDI to wirelessly. I have not yet to do that. Uh, this is basically uh, just some instructions here. Not really much. This tells you where to go down. Where to go? Tells you you have to install the firmware for the MDI two and where you can get the MDI two manager to do that. So here's the actual MDI two. picture on the back of it there so there is a void warranty sticker there you don't want to remove that um, and this side there is two USB A type connections here cool uh, there's a little wireless symbol there and I'm gonna pop this cover off in a second but on this side we have our USB B type connection this is what you're gonna use if you want a wire connection to the vehicle uh, on this side, we have an Ethernet. Okay, so I popped the cover off. As you can see, there is a card slot here. And this slot in the middle, this uh, Type A connection, is where you're going to use the uh, USB wireless connections. Um, but yeah, this is it. Alright, so we're going to open up our MDI manager here, and I downloaded this manager on SPS, but you can get it on BoschDiagnostics.com, uh, it's the same. And when you first get this, and the MDI 2 is going to come blank, and you got to install the firmware. Now you won't have a serial number, so you're going to click on it hit the recover button and hit install. That's going to install the firmware. That's only going to take a couple minutes. And I can connect here, it's just cool. But I'm going to go into SPS and test this out, so I want to disconnect. Okay. Alright, so I got the manager from this utility tab. Like I said, it's the same as BoschDiagnostics.com. I uh, just hit the install, the where's it will run, and it shouldn't be that hard to install. So let's test this out. And of course, I'm running uh, Windows Explorer on uh, Administrator latest version of Java I believe this we can skip all right so we're gonna turn our ignition on here not much of an ignition is it and our next Cobalt 2 2. It's trying to communicate with the device. That is our VIN. 
This is just an old junk PCM I have laying around here. I could pretty much just test everything out if I ever had to. So we're gonna hit next and we're gonna we're gonna just reprogram the PCM. Programming type is gonna be normal. We're gonna hit next. We don't know, it's probably an automatic trans, but you wanna be sure if this is a real vehicle of the um, RPO code. There's ways you can look up these RPO codes. We're going to go with anyone. Oh. I chose 4-speed auto. RPO code, QMF, it doesn't matter. This is just for demonstration. So there's our part number at the bottom, 8936, and there is an update, two fault codes. Uh, shows our current calibration, and our current calibration is the latest, actually. So there's really no, if this was a real vehicle, this wouldn't really need an update. Uh, we're going to hit next. So you are attempting to reprogram with the same calibration. We know that already. So we're going to select OK to continue. Hit Next. So this is the reprogramming process right here. Now it's a matter of time. And all we have is about 12 and a half volts, but we're doing this on the bench. Uh, and I don't, like I said, I don't really care about this computer. This is a real vehicle, we'd have a maintainer on it, or even a module that I wanted that was, you know, had some use to it. So our time's about nine minutes, it's going down pretty fast. Here's the lights. Looks like it's working pretty good. Still not sure what the F1 and F2 button are. I know the middle button's a power button for sure. Looks pretty good. And there's a lot of other J boxes that'll work fairly good with General Motors, um, but for the price of this uh, MDI two, I think it was a no-brainer just to get it. No sense in taking a chance. Looks like it's doing its job.
Okay, these are just the final instructions. Action complete. This is what you're going to see. We're going to turn our ignition back on, and that's pretty much it. They give us the option of clearing the DTCs, so something you would probably normally do. All right, that's it.